calculating the percent of a number. To calculate the percent of a number, use multiplication. So here's an example. In September of 2000, the Arctic had 6.4 million square kilometers of sea ice. Since then, sea ice has dropped to 75% of that amount. What is the new area? So here's our percent, 75%. And uh, when we're doing calculations with percentages, we have to turn them back into the decimal form. Now, if you uh, don't remember how to do that the quick way, the easy way is to divide by 100 to turn it into a decimal. So 75 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.75. This is our this is our percent as a decimal. So now we can calculate 75% by multiplication 0 0.75 times 6.4 million square kilometers. So 0 0.75 times 6.4 is equal to 4.8 million square kilometers. So after the summer, 9% of a grocery store's 85 employees quit in just a span of a few weeks. How many employees did they lose? So the first thing to do is turn 9% into a decimal. So that's 9 divided by 100. We get 0 0.09. So how many employees did they lose? Well, we're going to multiply 0 0.09 times 85 is equal to 7.65. Now, does it make sense to give an answer that they lost 7.65 employees? No, it doesn't. So we're going to have to round. So we'll round this up to 8. Uh, they lost 8 employees. And clearly, uh, when they gave that number of 9%, that was a rounded, uh, a rounded percentage. Because it doesn't make sense to lose 7.65 employees. Now it's really important that we get clear on a couple of key vocabulary words with percentages. There's an important difference between of and by in percentage questions. So here's an example. The price of Bitcoin is 35% of its peak $24,000 value. So we could calculate 35% of that would be 0 0.35, 35% as a decimal, times 24,721. That gives us a total of 8,652.35, or $8,652.35. Now, if we hear that the price of Bitcoin has dropped by 35% from its peak, what that means is that it's uh, 35 percent down from what it was. In other words, if it was $24,721, it's now dropped by $8,652.35. So it's dropped by 35 percent of its value. That means its total value is $16,068.65. So you see that's a big difference. The if a if a it drops to 35% of its original, it's just straight multiplication by the decimal. But if it's dropped by some percentage, then you're gonna have to subtract that bit off. But there's a quick way to do this as well. If something has increased by, increased or decreased by a certain percentage, you can just add or subtract from 100% for the calculations. Let me show you what I mean. The price of a movie ticket used to be $11, but the ticket price has increased by 15%. So there's that key word, by 15%. What that means is it's that uh, 100 plus 15 or 115 percent 
of the original price. So it's increased by 15%. If 100% was the original $11, it's now 115% of that. So turn that into a decimal. That's 1.15 times $11 is $12.65. Here's a second example where we're going to decrease by a certain amount. So a drone that's normally $39.99 is on sale for 10% off. So that means that if the original price was 100% of the price, we're going to drop it by 10. That's 90% of the original. So to find the new price, it's going to be 0 0.90 times $39.99. And when I do that, I get a dollar value of $35.99.